Hey everyone, what's up? It's Nick here, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and create a really cool logo inside of Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how to make a logo, sort of like the logo that you see right in front of here. Not with the light streaks though, but with the sort of uh, cool glowing edges effect. If you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to make the glowing light streaks like I did right here, feel free to go ahead and post them in the comments down below, and hopefully I'll make one. Now before we go ahead and get started, I want to say thank you to a friend of mine named Thomas, who is the new screencaster on the youtube.com slash pchacker11 channel. Uh, we're both going to be making videos on that channel, but he's been making videos on that so far. So uh, here's the channel. The first few videos is the ones that he's done, so feel free to go ahead and check those out. The link will be in the description, by the way. So now let's go ahead and get on to this tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to make a logo sort of like this with the cool outer and inner glowing effect. It's actually a very simple, very easy process to do. So let's go ahead and jump into this. You can use any version of, C of Adobe Photoshop to go ahead and do this, but I'm going to be using CS4 to go ahead and get the job done. So first I'm going to open Adobe Photoshop and I'm going to go to File and create a new document. And I'm going to make the width and the height 500 by 500 pixels, make the resolution at 72, and make the color mode RGB at 8-bit and make the background transparent. But I'm going to make it to background color so that you can actually uh, see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to create a new layer. Then I'm going to select my ellipse tool and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, make my ellipse and I'm going to center it. So we have our circle right around here. So now that we have our circle, we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and double click on the circle or right click and go to blending options. Then we're going to go ahead and customize it. So I'm going to go to gradient overlay and I'm going to change the white of the gradient to be a uh, lightish blue. So not a lightish green, a lightish blue. And I'm going to drag the thingy majigger this away. And uh, I screwed up my gradient, so sorry about that. I'm just going to, once again, make the thing a very lightish blue and I'm gonna drag the drag the black up this way and then that's good I'm gonna click OK and I'm going to uh, go to bevel and emboss and we're gonna make a bevel and emboss so I'm gonna drag the size to all the way up make the depth to around um, there's good and that's pretty much it now so now here's the fun part we're gonna go here to grab an outer glow so make the outer glow anything you want to but I'm gonna make it a sort of lightish but a little bit darker than our other blue and go ahead and make the spread and size anything you want to so I'm gonna make it like about that that seems pretty good and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and add in an inner glow and make the inner glow the same color so just gonna grab it and we're going to uh, I'm gonna make the joke go up and I'm gonna make the size go in and it's basically going to add in a uh, inner glow effect to complement our outer glow so yeah, and so now that we have that, as you notice, it looks like it has an inner glow. Now we're going to go ahead and click OK, and now we're going to duplicate the layer and click OK on that. And now we're going to hold down Control and T if you're on your PC, Command and T if you're on a Mac, to go ahead and bring up these sizing windows. Hold down Shift, and then just uh, resize this. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply that, and I'm going to center that so it looks a little bit like that. And now we're going to go back to blending options on that. I'm going to uh, keep the gradient overlay, keep the bevel and emboss, but I'm going to untick the outer glow to keep the inner glow, the inner glow, sorry, or maybe I should untick inner glow and keep outer glow. Yeah, we're going to make the outer glow size down a little bit more, so around that, and I'm going to lower the spread of it. And then uh, that's pretty much good. So you just want to make sure that you just change the settings of the outer glow, the inner glow, to look basically to what you want for your logo. Mine right there looks a little bit different than the one that I have on my wallpaper, but you know, it's never going to look exactly the same. So once we have that done, we're going to click OK, and that's what it looks like. Now all you have to do is add in your text. So I actually made a video on how to do the uh, cool neon font like I did right there. So I'm just going to type in A11 and I'm going to change my text color to the same light blue so around there and uh, in case you guys are wondering about the font that I'm using it is a uh, SF Florence SC outline you can go ahead and search it on defont.com or any other font website and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add in an uh, outer glow to that as well of around the same uh, light blue click OK and I'm going to uh, duplicate the layer 
Now I'm going to select both layers so I can go ahead and move them around. I'm going to hit Command and T to go ahead and uh, do some resize in there. Place it right around there, click Apply, and now let's go ahead and center it. Which it was already centered. So basically that's how to go ahead and do it. That's how to make a really cool logo with the cool glowing effect sort of like this. So if you guys have another different way you can do it or have a different tip for me, feel free to go ahead and leave it in the comment section below as well as feel free to go ahead and leave tips for future video suggestions in the comments as well. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys enjoy making your own logos. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. Thanks for watching this quick, easy, simple video. I'm going to stop talking now because I'm going to say thanks for watching four different times. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.